Hi there, this is Mark of Race Grooves. I found this Hot Wheels race crate at a larger retailer in the USA. It's about 50 US dollars. Let me give you an idea about the size. If you have Hot Wheels 5 packs, here we have the Hot Wheels City 5 pack. I'm going to be using these cars for the review. It's about that tall and it's a little bit wider, so it's a decent size. As you can see, it has uh, several different features. The crate opens up and easily transforms. Here we have a gravity drop that's over two foot tall. Or you can do a drag race with a loop. Or you can make this configuration to do the hill climb. It is recommended for ages 6 through 12. If you had the Hot Wheels Super 6 lane raceway, that was rated for ages 5 and up. On the other side of the crate, here's all the parts that are in the crate. Over 8 feet of track, so just like the Super 6 lane, it's 8 foot long, but they have it compacted into this little crate. That means it's easier for stores to carry. The Super 6 lane raceway was only available in Toys R Us in the USA, and it's a huge set. It's really big. That being said, both of them say that they're over 8 foot long. There might be a reason why one is rated from ages 6 through 12 and the other is for ages 5 and up. And I'm definitely in the and up category. I removed the outer packaging and I also snipped a zip tie that was keeping this sealed. Let's check it out. By the way, it has hinges. I think a lot of this is going to stay hinged together. Instruction guide for expert builders like you. Here we have a finish line. Check it out. It has one of these uh, rubber band operated finish lines. These are nice because it's easy for kids to operate. So when your car comes through, there's lanes one, two, three, and four, and you know who won. See, number two. My, my number two finger won that race. or whichever finger was number two. Here's the loop pieces. Ah, launchers. Couple cars. We'll take a look, look close up at the cars in a second. Let me get something set up. They don't call it a race crate just to hold your race parts. It actually is a race crate. You might have noticed on the side, you can see like lanes. You can see lanes on the inside. Yeah, all, all the parts of the, the case or the crate, all of the parts are for your races. I have the first setup ready to go. We're going to use the two cars that came with the set. You have RD03 and 16 Angels. We will start off on lanes three and four. Have our launcher. I don't know what happened to RD03, but 16 Angels won that race. RD03 nicked the track somewhere and just went airborne. Let's go ahead and do another race. See if I can have them lined up. Uh, try to have them lined up straight inside. It's hard to see. Sixteen Angels wins again. RD03, where'd you go? Again. Ah, finally, RD03 wins a race, but this time Sixteen Angels crashed. You know this set folds up into a crate. In order to make it into that crate, well, you have to have some sacrifices. See the side rail right here? Well, it stops, and then on the other side, look, there's a whole gap right here. There's, there's no side rails. So when the cars come through, if they go straight, they're fine. They go straight, they're just fine. But if they get uh, twisted at all, or if they get crooked, they wind up hitting the side rail on the other side. You can see it right here. There's a whole gap. There's no side rail. So if the car gets a little twisted, whee, up in the air it goes. So it's nice that it folds up into a crate, but it does lead to some imperfect racing. Let's talk about the launcher. You know, these are uh, kickers or launchers, or in this case, it's kind of a pusher, right? To where it's pushing the car out of the launcher. This one action pushes a bar and it pushes two cars. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if it pushes the car straight out or if they fly up in the air. I'm not going to slam it this time. Let's just give it a push. I know I seen RD03 pop up. Switch lanes.
This set is for racing, but it's, it's more for the younger crowd. Now let's go ahead and test all four lanes. In red, we have Drifta, and in yellow, we have La Fasta. Remember, those did not come in the set. They came in that Hot Wheels City 5-pack. Back it up, Buttercup. Everybody enter their launchers. And now since we're using four lanes, I will have to hit both launchers. Set. Mixed up the cars, different lanes. Let's try it again. Set, go! I didn't even hit it hard enough. They got mixed up. I'm just going to do them like this. Well, Drista wins. Drista's the only one still on the track. Again, again. Otra vez. Are you getting that same feeling that I am getting? Last chance, and then I'm going to do the next setup. Going from that last setup to the hill climb setup, all I had to do is take out the loop, and then you put this connected right here. You take this, remember those sides? Well, those sides turn out to be a little bridge. That's it. Now it might be a little tricky. We're gonna try to launch the cars. Now they have to come up a hill. So I don't wanna hit it too hard and then have them go flying in the air. Don't wanna have it too soft and then they don't make it up the hill. So it's up and over the hill. That's why I call it hill climb. And here is the finish line. And I should have done this last time. They have some connector points for you to connect your track builder track. Here comes RD10 in white. In blue, you have symbolic. In pewter or gray, you have drift tech. And we're going to keep using 16 angels in green. Let's load them up. Hey, it looks like one of them has a head start. Let's see if that helps or hurts. Ready, set, go. Go. That was kind of fun. I got a couple crashes. Two cars did finish. 16 Angels was the winner. I just figured out one reason why the cars pop up into the air. There's a little lip. That lip, on one hand, it keeps the cars sitting here behind the line. But when they come out, they're hitting that lip. lip. Well, that means they're, they're automatically going airborne. You see how it gets stuck behind? That means they're hitting the lip, except for this one. <laughs> He's so long, his wheels don't even park behind the lip. That being said, this is still kind of fun. I'm gonna let me do I'm gonna do these two and then these two. Hey. 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 Even though the races have a lot of crashes in them. Uh, you know what? I kind of like this hill climb. Oh, I meant I was gonna, I was gonna back them up and go this way first. Even though there's a lot of crashing, uh, I like this layout. It's kind of fun. Don't want to hit it too hard. You can't hit it too soft. Well, I can't hit it too hard. Let's see what happens. Two cars battled it out for the number one lane. Drift Tech is the winner. Okay, okay, okay. One more time, and then I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to set up that downhill track. I'll be right back after this break. All right, all right. Are you ready? Here we go. Here you have the gravity drop. Pretty easy to set up. Uh, you know what? Any kid can do it. Uh, I'm sure the kids are going to be teaching the parents. Matter of fact, check it out. You have a start gate. There go all your cars. Down the ramp, of course, you don't need the launchers this time. 
come down the ramp. There you have the loop, and you can, uh, there you go. There's your finish line. I haven't dropped the pegs yet. And again, I added the track. It does not come. Those pieces of track did not come with this set. I've been using these seven cars so far, but it's a four-lane race. So I'm going to add Skate Punk so that I can do a four and four and not have to keep going back and forth. Well, I'm going to have to go back and forth anyways because i got to reset this each time. But it's a nice little feature. Here we go. On your marks. Get set. Go! Go! Very smooth. That was fantastic. And the winner is lane number four. RD10 was the winner. We're ready for the next race. Set. Go! Set. Go! Here's the lineup for the next race. Hey, Mark, that's it. Go! Another great race. No crashes. All cars to the finish. Lane number three is the winner, and that would be symbolic. Now, I think I can try something different. Can we make it longer? You know, the Finish Flags apparatus, it uses like uh, track builder connectors, or, well, they're not track builder connectors. They're about the same size. So I was wondering if we can put track builder connectors and track here. Oh, look at that. I added two pieces of track builder track to each lane. That's almost two feet. That makes my track almost two feet longer. How about we do a little Hot Wheels tournament? Here we go, first heat on the extended layout. Lane number four is the winner, Drifta. Here come the next four, and go. Lane number two, in blue, RD03. Now we'll raise three and three, and that'll give us four finalists. On your mark, get set, go! Go! It's lane number one, Symbolic Advances. Okay, who's making it to the finals? It looks like lane number three, Drift Tech. Who's going to take first place? We have a race. They're neck and neck. Lane number four, symbolic. Who's going to take second? Lane number two, it's Drift Tech. The racer in third place is... Lane number one, RD03. Gravity drop, love it. Drag race, uh, no thank you. Hill climb, that's kind of fun. Do you agree? If you like track action, check out my track time channel. I moved track time to its own channel, and now I even have epic track battles over there. If my reviews help you with your buying decisions, check out Patreon. I have different perks for different folks. This video is not sponsored by Mattel. I pay for everything myself. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.